First off, I'd like to thank my teacher at Paradise Baptist Church at Five Keys, uh, Becky Abbott. She's for believing in me more than I believe in myself. Uh, I started with schizophrenia, and I started doing drugs real early in life to escape it. Um, I spent more life, more of my time in jail than I did free. And to be free now, and to be in recovery, and it just, I never thought I'd, I'd be in a situation where I could be up in front of something like this. I have two poems for you. Kind of a, both sides of my life. I got one from the darkest time in my life, and I got one from the, one of the best times in my life. This was called Inside My Mind. Come take a trip deep inside of my mind. See all the chaos and evil you'll find. Take the staircase de descending to black. I leave you one morning, you might not come back. It stopped out all pretty, so I'm dancing some wine. But beware, for the ending is dark and is grime. As you descend down the stairs, you go through my life. You see I'm alone, no family or wife. I have someone else to keep company. He's always been there deep inside me. Just a voice in my ear, like a friend I kept there. No matter where I was, he was everywhere. When I was just little, he was a big brother. When I was a teen, he was another. When I got older, him like a son. Someone to be there when I had no one. The family I had was people I chose, like Roxanne and family, the people, ones I can't lose. Although he is faceless, I gave him a name. I call him Ryan, but now things ain't the same. It's like he don't like me. He's no longer a friend. So I take my meds now to make it all end. What once was a friend I needed in life, now is an enemy causing me strife. He told me to cut to make it all end. That doesn't sound like a voice of a friend. I try to make it all disappear, but his evil laugh is all I can hear. Screw you, you're stupid is all I can say. I'll keep taking my pills to keep you away. I'll tell people on paper what it's like to be me. How a day my shoes would be screwed up to be. Get out while you can, up the stairs to be free. Don't let him get you the way he's got me. Just when you think he'll catch you this time. You run out of stairs and fall out of my mind. Although he is no one, I know him too well. Ryan by name, my own private help. Alright, now for something a little lighter. <laughs> While I was in a San Joaquin County jail, I met a woman. Well, she was incarcerated too, and during the day we'd see each other all through the day and we pass notes along and although it didn't work out, it was one of the best times in my life. <laughs> when you think of finding angels, you look up high above. You look for golden beings on white wings like a dove. But when angels are mistreated and full of hurt and pain, their wings fall off, they lose that shine when they're left out in the rain. I found one of these angels crying in the thorns beat up, bruised, and broken by the evil things with horns. I thought, how could God be so mean and leave her all alone with the ugly dogs of hell biting at her bones? I tried to reach out to her, to her, to hold her in my arms, to shield her from more evil, from more hurt, from more harm. But the glass that stood between us that kept us far apart may have kept her from my voice or touch, but not from within my heart. Notes were passed through cracks and doors with words we had to say, and smiles and waves through the glass each and every day. Now just because an angel doesn't have her angel wings doesn't mean that that angel doesn't have what angels bring. For if what's inside this angel were paid just half in gold, I'd be the richest ever when it's this angel that I hold. Here I thought I fixed her from keeping her having to cry, when all along she fixed me too from being alone the day that I died. I still didn't see what was wrong with her, 
why God just let her be? Maybe God never left her alone. Maybe God left her there for me. 